Okay, I'm gonna go over the gun setup that I used for Mammoth, uh, the rifle only. We'll go over the pistol in a later video. I wanna get this out of the way so in later videos we can go over the pack again and the bags and how I use all of that. Um, the gun weighed without this bipod 11.5 pounds. I did not use, this is the MDT, their new bipod. It's uh, the best out there. It's really uh, good. The uh, extendability of it, the functions of it are, um, are the best for this sport, for the shooting, uh, the long range precision game. But I didn't use it because it weighs 11 point, uh, I'm sorry, 1.5 pounds, something around there. I weighed my other bipods and there's another bipod I had that I really liked and it's this Thunder Beast and this one weighs, uh, this one weighs like seven ounces. The thing is on the travel home, it broke. So in, in, in transport. So I use the, and they're going to replace it. I talked to them at the uh, shot show and they, uh, they have a newer version where this is a little beefed up. So they're going to replace it. But the savings here was almost a pound, 16 ounces. So that was huge. So I used this one instead of this. And, um, and I never felt like this held me back or there was something here that, uh, that I wanted something like this MDT. This lighter bipod was totally fine. My partner actually used a Harris bipod, which I didn't weigh his, but probably similar weight. And they're known for being really light bipods. I went with this uh, hybrid chassis by um, MPA. Prior to that, I was running a, a, ch a new chassis by MDT called the HNT26. When I had that chassis on, this gun was really light. It was under 10 pounds, but I think uh, there was, I, I shot a match with it. It was a little short. I wish it was a little, I wanted a little more length. Uh, I didn't feel good with it. So I've shot a lot with this. So I decided to uh, switch back to this kind of at the last minute. And I was, I was happy with this. I did see another guy running the MDT HNT. If I were to shoot the match again, I would seriously consider running that. Um, just get a little more time on it. Proof barrel, six millimeter Creedmoor barrel and uh, this worked great i really liked it i got the the hybrid um, curtis custom action with some of these cutouts so i built this this setup just for this match so this is extra lightweight um has these cutouts here on these sides got some super lightweight rings and i went with a uh, mark 5 3 by 6 uh, 3 by 18. in hindsight i think this might have been too little i didn't during the match and i did this just to go as light as possible during the match i didn't see it as a problem i never went man i wish i would have had more magnification uh during the match but after the match i thought back to some stages where I, I do wish i would have had a little more magnification and so um i actually talked to sean murphy post match right at the end of the match at the finish line basically He's won Mammoth a bunch of times, twice at least, maybe more, and he's won a bunch of other uh, team matches with his partner. I asked him what he uses for Mammoth, and he uses a 7x35 by, by Night Force. So uh, don't listen to me. Don't use a 3x16. Listen to someone like him. 7x35 is what he uses. If I shot this again, I'd probably still use the super lightweight rings, maybe go to a 5x25, um, but I would definitely not use this again. Again, though, I did shoot it all with this. I didn't find myself... I did miss some long targets, but okay. So yes, this was probably a mistake. Having the, the greater magnification uh, would have been a better option. I also had a sling on this gun. Um, I thought we might need a sling at some point. Luckily, it didn't weigh much. And I told Sandro, my partner, at the last minute to make sure he carried a sling. Um, I haven't weighed it, but it's probably a few ounces. Um, but I didn't need this, so I never used the sling at the match. And then I had this... Um, on the side of it, I had this little dope card put on that's really lightweight. Uh, I ended up using this like once or twice, not on all stages, a couple of stages. Um, could have, I still would take it next year if I shot this again, because it is so lightweight. Uh, diamond trigger, trigger tech, diamond, uh, really like that. But so this is the setup, uh, happy with it. it. Any misses I had was not a problem of the gun. It was definitely my issue. 11.5 pounds on this setup. And I did see guys with like full on, I think 15, 16, 17 pound guns like you'd see at a normal PRS match. And again, it's, it's, you can shoot whatever you want. It's your choice in terms of what type of equipment you want to bring out. But then that's, that's what adds weight to all of this kit. And at the end of the day, our packs are 44 pounds, 44.5. Um, I did make a comment in the first video that I could see us going lighter. 
some of the stuff with this gun, maybe a lighter chassis even, I could I could look at. But um, but some of the places I'll cut weight or could cut weight, I'll talk about in later videos, specifically in, in ammo. Okay, so that's the gun I used for Mammoth. Uh, really happy with it. Thanks.